the unconscious touchdown, so I was knocked unconscious in, in the game. Well, new at 5.30, some big news in the world of college sports. The NCAA reached a settlement this morning in its lawsuit regarding head injuries. You'll remember that famous uh, play by Reggie Brooks. You just heard from him. It's the association's answer to a class action suit by, by, filed by former college athletes, and they demanded a change in athletic safety when it comes to concussions. So the NCAA is proposing a brand new set of policies. WSBT's Annie Chang's at the live desk. You've been researching the new rules, and Annie, some pretty big changes could be coming. That's right, Cindy. Two significant changes within this settlement. First, the NCAA will create a medical fund worth $70 million to give former college athletes a chance to screen for any signs of brain damage. Secondly, it's changing the national protocol for athletes who do suffer head injuries. But is that enough to slow down this ongoing problem? I talked to some former Notre Dame football players who say they're skeptical. Watch right here at the goal line. This is one of former Irish running back Reggie Brooks's most memorable touchdowns. And ironically, it's the one he doesn't remember at all. I didn't really get to recollect until I actually saw the film the next day. Brooks had suffered a concussion, not the first or last of his career. He says there's always been a pressure on football players not to show weakness and not to report injuries. Playing football, there's a culture of toughness and aggression and, you know, suck it up. You know, you hear those things. So it's hard to tell if the NCAA's new rules will change much. If approved, college players who suffer a concussion won't be allowed to come back to the game or practice that day. Brooks says the change should start at the beginning of a player's career. Going back to the basics, that's where safety is um, paramount, is that doing things the right way. Take your drop with confidence. Evan Sharpley played quarterback for the Irish from 2005 to 2009. Now he's training high schoolers to prepare for collegiate football, where the players are bigger and the hits are harder. You know you're going to get hit. I mean, that's, that's the whole, it's a contact sport. He says the new rules are a long time coming. I think it's a step definitely in the right direction. I mean, we're talking about the safety of, of kids and uh, concussions. It's been such a hot topic over the past couple of years. Something had to be done. But both players agree the culture of contact sports won't change overnight. Now, the policy also states that trained medical personnel must be present at all contact sporting events. College athletes will still have the right to sue their schools or the NCAA for personal injury damages. Now, the settlement still needs the approval of an Illinois district judge before it becomes official. At the live desk, I'm Annie Chang, WSBT Channel 22 News.